Good morning, YouTube. Continuing this theme with this downtown is blooming thanks to either the city of Dayton or businesses that are still here or who are not here. And here we got another business that is closed up right here. I'm on uh, North Jefferson between 2nd and East 2nd and East 1st Street by the just adjacent to the Kettering Tower right there and the Premier Health Center. So yeah, you have all this stupid propaganda right here and downtown's booming thanks to the hydraulic company and pro work, which I don't think is still is not even still here anymore. So yeah, so why <clears throat> did we need to plant these stupid flower pots that I mentioned were uh, were probably anywhere from 800 to probably somewhere in the low 1000s to build Dayton Visual Arts Center well hell there ain't even anybody here so downtown is Thriving this, it's around 10 o'clock in the morning, and yet nobody's here. So yeah, you plant this stupid crap right here, and it, 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 it says they have hours from 11 to 6, and close Sunday and Monday, but I, I'm somewhat skeptical of, of their tactics. And here's another waste of money, these things for your bike that they think will secure bike so they probably spent about a hundred to two hundred bucks on that another waste thinking that all people will bike to work when there's obvious there's not even hardly any jobs down here because as you guys seen my videos of these empty skyscrapers Kettering Tower around 65 percent vacant Yeah, you still have all these idiots. Yeah, the State and Visual Arts Center and the Mormon Church and uh, and Dayton Hydraulics look like they're operating, but pretty much the rest of this is just pretty much abandoned through here. Across the street, there's nothing. Across the street, there ain't nothing here. This building's totally vacant. So yeah, they can, you know, put all this downtown's blooming propaganda, all these other lies that they want, but you have nothing but empty buildings. See through right here, there's just nobody. See, there's just nobody, YouTube. Empty buildings. And, and you know, and you know, as I've mentioned before, there's the old Patterson School co-op lot right there, which ever since Dade Public Schools demolished that school, there has been nothing done with it. And as, and as I've said over and over again, more empty buildings right here. This whole building's vacant. Why hasn't they bought townhouses for that if there's such demand for downtown David because I, as I said over and over again there's not see this for Lisa right here CBRE Richard Ellis Chris Hodge Lisa Miller give up your investment because it's a losing one see how this is just completely closed on East 1st Street 40 East 1st Street you see for sale or or for lease so yeah this is the real downtown you know for you people and I don't know how many people are in that building right there but as you can see they're sandblasting above there so you can see the shamefulness of this plastic that they put over these windows to try and you know mask the emptiness of it 
it just proves that no matter how much lipstick they put on the pig it's still a pig and there's nobody here see this it's dark This is your wonderful, thriving downtown. They say it's thriving, but why do you see nothing but empty buildings through here? So yeah, they can go ahead and keep telling you all this propaganda that they want. And it's time that we demand that we get rid of politicians and other people that want to steal our tax money for stupid things like flower pots that aren't, you know, being used, that are just more fluff. But anyway, that's going to be it for this one.